Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Scripture Writing Channel. Um, I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited because last week I was very sick and um, my last video I was getting sick and now this video a week later I am getting over being sick. <laughs> so I am excited to talk to you guys. I have been so blessed and thrilled um, just chatting in the comments and seeing all the new subscribers come to the channel. You know this has been a huge surprise and blessing. I didn't think much when I started this channel on how, what direction it would go, whether it would grow or wouldn't grow. But um, in the past month, since December um, 15th, where I hit 100 subscribers, which I was thrilled and so excited for, um, I've gained 70 some more. I mean, we are way past 100. We're going approaching 200. Um, subscribers so thank you thank you thank you so I have this little notepad here I just jot down a bunch of names uh, in the past month and this was starts at four weeks going to the most newest and then the starred ones are in the past month um, people who have commented with me uh, different comments that have just been wonderful to have the conversations with uh, in the comment section so um, thank you guys for participating Jennifer Richard Judy uh, Sigmund Regina Grant, Christy uh, Sherum, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, The Coupon Lady, uh, Julia O'Neill, Susan Brown, Organized Chaos Co., Tex Judy, um, this T-J-H-W-M-O-R-25, <laughs> I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that, Nancy Krause, uh, Pat Blake, um, Sarah Hamlet, uh, I can't read my own writing, uh, Change, Christine, uh, Stacy Tyson, BD, uh, Kizzy Gray, Marie Ray, uh, Crystal Lane, um, Diane Dixon, Heather Hansen, Sharon Allen, Denise, uh, Leanne uh, Brackener, Bra I think I said that right, <laughs> and Alma Flores and Stacy Gray are my two favorite uh, because they've been around the longest and I talk to them all the time. And you guys are just beautiful, beautiful people. And I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. There were many more than this. These are just the ones that are publicly subscribed on my channel. And I just went back this morning and wrote your names down, the ones that um, are public. I want to make sure if you want to stay privately subscribed, I will respect that. And that's amazing. But you guys have blessed me, private subscribers, as well as these public ones. And I wanted to give you guys a shout out because... You guys are such beautiful people, and I just appreciate you so, so much. Now, my voice is still a little raspy, and um, but um, I want to. I will tell you exactly what happened, and um, and then we'll get into doing today's hear my prayers uh, scripture writing journaling prompt for day eighteen because today is the eighteenth. So give me one second. So I got sick last week. I actually had COVID and. Uh, Wednesday I was sick um, with COVID. I didn't know it was coming. Not even sure how I got it. I went. The only place I went that uh, the day before was like grocery store. And um, but I go there all the time, so I'm not sure. And I had my oldest son with me, and he didn't get sick. And we were in the same exact. I mean, like he was with me in the store the entire time. So can't figure out how it happened or when. But I did come down with COVID, and I got sick um, Wednesday. My youngest son. Um, Jack got sick on Thursday, my husband got sick Friday evening, and then, then my oldest son got sick on Sunday. So we are in varying stages of quarantine and all that. I can go out with a mask on um, and limit my exposure. So I do grocery pickup and stuff like that. I try not to spend too much time out of the house, but I've been in the house all week. So that's that's been nice actually seeing the family. But not nice because everybody's been really sick. <laughs> so first first three days were rough. And then after the third day, I started feeling better. So that was really good. And I could help take care of the family that was going downhill south pretty fast. So there's that. Um, they say there's a cough that can linger for up to six weeks. And I'm like, oh, great. So I may sound funny for up to the next six weeks. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, first time ever having COVID. So... But I wanted to go ahead and do this video and share with you guys and thank you for all the prayers and well wishes. You guys were so sweet and it was so beautiful. So thank you. I want to do a reflection on last uh, January 11th, uh, last week's 
uh, script writing journaling prompt. This is what I wrote in the last video. And I'm going to zoom all the way in here. There we go. And just kind of have, I got stuff all over my desk. There we go. So I put this thing, uh, it says winter plans. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I started to want, write just random stuff I thought I'd do this week. And then uh, COVID hit. So yeah, there you go. Uh, but I do want to go back to church, but I don't think this is the week I'm going to be doing it, obviously. I want to give myself an extra week of recovery and make sure my entire family is COVID free. So there you go. Uh, but I put reflection right here, a sticker I had in one of my happy planner books. It's out of this, uh, pray, uh, peace within. I love this book. This is such an awesome book. So let's reflect a little bit on kind of the, um, last week's scripture and stuff like that. And that was second Timothy three sixteen and 17. All scriptures breathe out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for the training of in righteousness that it, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. And I love that. I love that it takes so much burden off of us as individuals on what to do to, you know, under, to read the scripture trust the scripture and and then apply the scripture into our life because it's breathed out by God. Anytime we read it, it's going to be profitable for us. It's not going to harm us. It's not going to hurt us. It's actually going to strengthen us. It's actually going to grow us. It's actually going to connect us with God even more. And it, it teaches us. It brings reproof. It brings correction and training to guide us in uh, righteousness in Christ's righteousness, or to be more Christ-like. So um, Christ is our righteousness, and we are here on earth to do good works, you know, by the will of God, what He has this design and His desire for us to do. And we want to do those good works because they're an overflow of, how, of Him in us for others. You know, this is how He spreads out into the world. And... You know, he's not going to send us out to do anything that he's not going to train us up in. And we're not going to be equipped for. So if we feel like we're very little equipped, very small, um, then he's going to send us out in the world to do works in those small areas. And as we grow and get, you know, more and more over time, he, that equipping he's going to give us is going to grow with us. And then we're going to have more abilities and more um, things going into the future. So, uh, for every good work. So our works will change and vary. They may be huge. They may be small and everything in between at different various stages, but he will equip us for all of them right where we are, right where we're at. And as long as we're willing to come to him and allow the scripture, um, to be profitable for teaching and all the things and correcting and training, then yeah. Um, and, and I think this scripture writing is part of that. I think that um, he, these are his words breathed out. We're writing it down. We're committing it to our mind, our heart, our spirit. And we are pondering them throughout the day. And that is equipping us and training us. So when we come into real world events, whether at the grocery store or out to dinner or visiting family or at work, where, whatever it is or wherever it is, or w with your children on the playground, with friends, um, at church, you have the knowledge and you also have the word, um, in you in order to equip you for any scenario that comes before you. So, um, do we always do them perfectly? Will we stumble? Will we forget things? Yeah, we will. Um, will we miss opportunities? Yes, but he always has someone else in the wings ready to step in when we can't. So, we don't carry the burdens of all this all by ourselves. And I love that. So that is my reflection. I'm not going to write all that down, obviously, right here. But I might write four bullet points of what I just said. And um, down here. And that will be my reflection on the scripture. But I love talking that out. I didn't even know I was going to do that. That's kind of cool. So um, let's see here. And we have Wednesday, January 18th. So I'm going to pop this page out. Got one more this month of January, and then we'll move into February. 
Um, let's see. The only other thing I've got is I did do my calendar. Don't think I've shown that yet. Um, there, I finished my calendar. <laughs> Let me zoom back out. I forgot how close you guys were. Uh, there we go. I did my calendar, got my date dots down, so it looks really cute. And um, I wrote down when we were sick, <laughs> and then we didn't go to church. I did get to talk to my favorite missionaries, um, Johnny and Megan. They're with uh, Greater Europe Mission, and they're over, they're in Virginia Beach right now with the church that we just uh, moved from. And um, we support this family and we'll support them until the wheels fall off. But um, it, it's just, it was just really nice to see them because when they left, they only had one kid, now they have two. And you know, the family's growing and things are changing and oh, it's so beautiful. And the little one is like six months old already. I'm going, oh my gosh. But I, I'm just having so much fun watching their journey and seeing um, how God is using them in their missions field so i really love that and the date dots here really made it pop and stand out i loved how this turned out um if you didn't get to see last time in my last video this was my monthly i printed it wrong that's why i have notes pages as well <laughs> and i did do another prayer time um that i wasn't expecting i haven't done my stretching but that's because i'm in sick um and we're doing day 18 here so i'm going to highlight that for here my prayers and I thought I would start with stickers today. I normally do them last, fun stuff for last, but um, I had a comment um, in the comment section about um, having one of these prayerful planners and they bought a hardbound and they love it. It's undated, but they just can't seem to figure out how to use it for themselves, like what makes sense to them. And they asked for a little advice and a little help and stuff. So I thought, oh, okay. And uh, when I responded to this person, um, I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it was uh, Kizzy Gray. Um, and she was beautiful. Thank you for your comment and all of that. That was really, really sweet. I, um, I was thinking about what came to mind had to do with imperfections. That, that was the first thing that came to mind. And... And I was praying. I usually try to pray before I, I respond to you all because I, I want to say good things and, you know, align with what God is saying and stuff like that. But she was saying she was having trouble and the boxes kind of throw her off and things like that. And I, and I totally agree with her. Um, this is a plan your day and bring God into your day kind of planner. And this is a daily one. That's what this one is. There is a weekly version that looks different than this. You get two pages with a full week but this is a daily one and you focus on that day and I love that it's this type of focus that it has a place for praise a place for health uh, physical health to um, track your water track your steps track your sleep um, pray for those things or whatever it is that you want to put in these areas and for busy moms busy family members give thanks to the Lord um, this verse right here have a verse just to read when you, you can't sit down and do a devotional you can't sit down and have quiet time with God because you have no quiet time <laughs> you know you're either at work or you're with the kids or whatever um, it gives you a piece of scripture just to kind of read on and 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 one thing you can do that just kind of popped in my head if you are a parent or a mom or somebody at work um, and you have your planner and you have enough to plan your day enough time to do that have no, note cards or sticky notes nearby and rewrite the scripture that's already on the page and then take it with you when you go to work and stick it by your monitor if you have a computer or stick it um, on a picture frame or some kind of you know mirror or some place that you have your things at work at home or all around your house or write it three or four times so you can put them in three or four places and every time you look at it just read the scripture and um, pray God to be with you in the moment as you're reading it. Ask the Holy Spirit for understanding and things about what you're reading. That's some, one thing you can do. Um, and then this is a priority section. So um, my, you know, obviously my daily plans aren't that big and exciting most days. I'd still write them out. I still enjoy doing that. But I do um, have a lot of stickers for my budgeting channel. And I use Sarah Marie stickers for that. 
and hers isn't a faith base. I mean, though she is a Christian and she goes to church, um, I have this a little sticker, reusable, reusable sticker book that's hers. And the front of it is just a bunch of her scripts from other things that um, I haven't used. I have very few Planner Kate. I used to get Planner Kate a little bit, but I prefer Sarah Marie stickers, and this is what I had left. And then, um, and then these are her icons and stuff. So you have, a, if you have other stickers, um, and you want to, you can use. I've, these are some I printed and cut it myself, um, kind of thing, off of uh, Etsy. And then uh, functional stickers, you know, appointment labels, stuff like that. So if you have stuff like this from other books and other kits, you know, grab those and just kind of, you know lay them down and have some fun with them, um, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use one of these. Let's see. and come back here first. Uh, this is from Her Courage to Plan. These are what I have left here, and that's where these stickers came from, and I'm going to use these. Her Courage to Plan um, is on Etsy, and I think it's also a budgeting video um, if you are into budgeting videos like I am. So things like that. So I thought I would just kind of show you how I would do this if I was planning my day. So simply enough for me, you know, you got your priorities here. And what I would do is just, I love using the little dots that um, are from these kits sometimes. I think I'm gonna use these pink ones here I had left over. I put stuff in the most randomness places. There we go, right there. I'll use these and I'll do top three priorities here and so first thing is uh, take care of uh, see check on family on COVID and stuff like that so I want to check on the family make see whose symptoms is what and things like that and keep track of the days, um, five days isolation and mask, and then just um, another five days. Next five days is less isolation, but um, masked. So those kind of things. Whatever the CDC says, I don't know. And then uh, check on family. So there's that um, uh, film. Edit and upload. And and then dinner, I don't know, let's see, today is Wednesday, spaghetti. So I think we'll do spaghetti, possibly. And so that that's my plans for the day. <laughs> that's how exciting my life is. Of course, everybody's sick in my house, so I can't really plan a whole lot for the day. But if I had doctor's appointments or if I had something else than that, and then you can come back and check them off as you go. And then, you know, if you have little cute icons, just throw some icons down. Um, I don't know if I have anything that kind of relates to this. Uh, so I kind of have this one that's cute. It's a spoon, fork, and dinner knife. There we go. And I'll just kind of pop that right there. And then um, I'll use maybe, let's see, it was a no spoon map more on this page all right so I got this like little mask thing doodle girl so I'll check on the family here and film edit upload let's see and this girl is just doing on the computer yeah I can use that so she looks a little worried and tired. So that's how kind of how I feel. <laughs> so there you go. So there's a, a little way of decorating. Now I got to use different stickers today. Um, so there's that. And then praise. So let's see. I can put uh, one of these. Let's see. These open hands here with the praise. These see, uh, I guess that's what it means. I, I'm assuming that's what it means. I'm kind of liking this tan color here, so I'm going to use this. So, there we go. Oops, 
Don't want to lay it down too soon because these stick pretty good and tear the paper. Do I want it here? Do I, want it here? I think I want it over here. There we go. So praise, and then I can fill in my praise here. And then uh, physical health. I don't really have anything physical in here, but I might have some stuff here. Uh, physical health. I think. Uh, well, we got this little yoga mat girl. That's kind of an exercise. She's doing her stretches. And I do want to start stretching um, regularly. So I'm just going to put this here. I'm not into yoga. I don't do yoga. Um, not quite sure how to feel about it. Let me know in the comments below. Do you do yoga? Do you um, have a routine or exercise routine that you do, go to? Um, and uh, maybe that will inspire to help me <laughs> get um, the physical activity that I need. So there you go. Uh, post it. So we're going to post something here. And let's see. I'm actually going to post one of these. I think I have boxes in here. Yeah, my thoughts. My thought was, or what was coming to mind at the time, and I think God was leading me to say was, you know, these don't have to be perfect um, when you're working in your journals and when you're working in your um, prayerful planner, uh, that it can get overwhelming and that, you, you know, you can white things out, but then you're like, does that even look right? Um, and, and then you might not like how it looks afterwards. I, when I first started doing this, I didn't like a lot of my layouts. Um, but I was new at it and I was figuring out my style and like this, I'm, I think I'm a little crooked here. Um, even though I was figuring out my style, you know, I, I realized and understood that God was saying he, he didn't want perfection from what I was trying to do. He didn't want, um, he didn't want me to uh, imitate what other people were doing. He wanted to have the conversation with me. And in the conversations, he wanted me to sit down and write down the scripture and open my heart to the Holy Spirit and then allow him to guide me in my thoughts, in my prayers, and um, reveal to me what I wasn't even thinking on my own um, without him. So this here, each box is a way of having a conversation with God. Up here, you're having a conversation about, okay, these are my expectations in my day, Lord, but I surrender it to you, and you will be in this process. Uh, your will will be done. Um, I thank you, Lord, for this day. I thank you for um, what you do and provide and give and things like that. And I pray, or here is my physical health, Lord. I am surrendering that to you. That's how I see each of these boxes as a way of having a mini conversation of a specific topic or a specific way of communicating, whether it's writing the scripture down, whether it's journaling out what he has said, or things like that. So, um, yeah, I think um, it is intimidating at first. But once you just start doing it and being and giving yourself permission to be messy the first several times you do it, um, and figuring out what you like, um, that's when... He really comes in and starts showing you more of a creative stuff because I'm not a creative person. I cannot draw. <laughs> I cannot. Um, I'm not a poet. I um, don't enjoy a lot of those things. So it's very hard for me to do these things. And um, when I wanted to get into doing this, I just didn't know what direction to go until I allowed myself to um, let God be a part of it. And then he showed me or told me um, directions. And then things started to make more sense. Let's see, I think. Now, the stickers I typically use are uh, removable stickers. That's why they're coming up so easy. But I'm enjoying this little process, this little different process here. And, and just know that uh, like any newbie of anything, it's not going to be great the first time out the door. You know, we start out as babies and we are helpless. And 
after moving forward a bit and moving forward a bit, we learned to roll over, we learned to get up on our knees, we learned to crawl, we learned to pull ourselves up, we learned to take some steps, and then um, we learned to run, and then we don't enjoy running, so we quit. <laughs> Things like that. So there's the scripture, and I don't think I have anything that says journal, but let's see. I want to put I am healed, because I feel I am healed uh, from COVID. <laughs> Let's see, put this right here. And there's so many ways of doing things. I do apologize, I think my son just got in the shower, so. Okay, I am back, so I am fully decorated. <laughs> did not know this was gonna turn out the way it did. I need my highlighter. Uh, I'm using my pink right now. And I've got all kinds of colors, not necessarily matchy-matchy colors, but I just went ahead and finished decorated because I can't talk and decorate at the same time. That's why I don't do it very often. Um, but um, yeah, this is a good way of just kind of bringing the Lord into your day, talking about specific areas of your life, and just pray out each box, um, just a couple of seconds or a couple minutes of what is on your mind. He wants our heart more than anything. He doesn't want beautiful, perfect spreads. He could care less about that. Actually, he could care, he cares more about our hearts. And he cares that we care what we care about, which is nice and pretty looking spreads that make, that fill us up and make us feel um, creative and you know proud of what we've kind of accomplished here but he does care about that but when he sees imperfections in your spread and you turn to him in your heart going man God this is imperfect I don't understand or you know can you help me with that that's an opportunity for him to talk to you and go but you are perfect because of Christ's perfection I love you exactly where you are. I want to meet you right where you're at. Um, I don't want um, you to feel like you can't do a, a simple lay down a bunch of stickers that aren't even color coordinated spread, you know, to please me. That's not what he's looking for. He's just looking for us to write his scripture on our hearts, that our hearts are aligned with him, that we turn to him. He just wants us to turn to him. He wants us to have the conversation with him. That's how he guides and protects us from Satan around us. That's how he guides and protects us um, every day to um, be the Christians and the hands and feet of Christ and the light to the world um, in the world that we are living in. So, yeah, I mean, don't worry about your spreads if you're doing this and what they look like. They don't have to be Instagram where they, they just need to be with your heart. And um, as long as God's in them, then it's all that really matters. So, because you know me, my handwriting is horrible, which is why I use a lot of stickers. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. Uh, put my stuff away a little bit here. Uh, the scripture of the day that's up here at the top says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithfulness loves endures forever. First Chronicles 16:34, and um, I love hearing his faithfulness. Love, his faithful love endures forever. Um, he's faithful, more faithful than we could ever be, and it endures so so far out that we can't even fathom. So it's a never-ending love and that is just a beautiful love to me I, I just I can feel right now that he loves me I, I truly feel that and I don't always allow myself to feel that so I, I'm I'm shaking a little bit because that, that's just a beautiful sensation and and just even an inkling of pondering that thought just sitting on that scripture and just go his faithful love endures forever and endures for me and he is good and 
give thanks to that. Give thanks to that daily. Because even if you're if that is just your starting point, how can you not have a good day thinking and pondering and meditating on giving thanks to the Lord, knowing He's good and faithful and love endures forever. I mean just that I'm smiling so big I can't stand it. That is just so pretty. So I'm just gonna say thank you, Lord. <laughs> for that scripture right there. There you go. That's it. That's what I want to say. Um, pray uh, physical health. Uh, pray uh, for healing after COVID. There we go. Got that down. So, now into the scripture. <laughs> um, Today's verse is 2 Thessalonians 3, 5, and it's a beautiful verse. I read it earlier, or last night, and um, I did enjoy it, and it is a small verse. I do apologize if you're hearing all the noises. Um, I think my son is done <laughs> running all the water, so <laughs> we're good now. Uh, Lord, direct my heart today. That's so beautiful, and it really ties in with the scripture here, I think. It just is it's a good, it's making me smile even bigger, so um, I'm excited about that. So I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to write above here, 2 Thessalonians, it's a long word, S-S-A-L-O-N-I-A-N-S, 3, 5, there we go, and um, I'm claiming I am healed today after being with COVID all this week, <laughs> so yeah, there's all that. And then over here, let's see, journal prompt. And when we are praying and talking things out with God, um, and we're starting our day, I think that is a great way to start your day, is saying some of these journal prompts, Lord, direct my heart today. Um, not necessarily journal it, but just open the door and invite the Holy Spirit in and say, Lord, you know, direct my heart today as I go through my work day, as I take care of my children, as I X, Y, Z, whatever it is that is your life. And I think um, having something like that, even just picking one for the month and you say the same one over and over again, that is still writing scripture. That is still writing on your heart um, things that are good, things that are lovely, that are positive, that are um, above, thinking above. Um, I'm referring back to Philippians. I, I don't know verse or, or scripture, but, um, you know, thinking on those things and having something to stand on first thing in the day um, can help align any uh, um, things that could take you sideways throughout the day. So I love that right there. So let's look up. Um, oh, here's my phone. My Bible app. All right. And we're going to find... All right, I've already got highlighted in the ESV, uh, the uh, Second Thessalonians 3, 5. And I got to, oh, at the top, there we go. And it says here, may the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. I love the word steadfastness. It's, it's kind of a special word to me because it was one of the first words my husband's kind of, um, stood on and kept it kept coming back in his thoughts and reoccurring I think even in a dream or two or something like that but the word steadfastness meant a lot to him so when I think of steadfastness even though it's not a nautical it might be a nautical term I don't know and he was navy at the time um and he's still you know even though he's retired you just never not navy um but steadfastness that, that reminds me of Navy and his time in Navy and his connection there. So I love how this says, uh, direct our hearts, just like the thing said here, uh, to love, uh, to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. You know, stay that course. Um, let the, God control the rudder on the direction of your life and align your hearts with Christ. Um, 
this ESV version is beautiful. I love this version. It's probably the one I'll write. Um, I'll go over the other ones that I typically say. Uh, the uh, CSB, Christian Standard Bible. May the Lord uh, direct your hearts to God's love and Christ's endurance. Now that's like being an athlete to me, you know, where in, uh, endurance is like, let's say running a track and you're enduring the run, trying to get to the finish line, things like that, a relay race or something like that. That is, um, that's what I see here when I read those words. And, and it's a good idea if you're visual like I am, um, when you are writing scripture sometimes, find stickers or find, uh, or draw a picture or like print out a regular copy paper and put down or pull out of a magazine a picture of an image that reminds you of what you're seeing here or when you hear the word endurance or steadfastness or something like that. And that way you can kind of repetitively put it in your book and kind of attach that to the meanings of those words and help um, clue you in in your memory uh, why they're so important. Um, let's see, Amplified, my favorite. Uh, um, I'll probably do the Amplified because it's pretty similar to all the others. It says, May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, into the steadfastness and patience of Christ. And um, that's a good reminder, too, that he was patient, he was enduring. Um, patience, to me, is like a, a long uh, race, like a um, long-distance running you got to be patient to get to that end, you know, when you're running like a marathon and it's 20 some miles and I don't know any of that world at all. <laughs> and you got to have that steadfastness to keep in the right direction to get there and then the patience to get there as well. So I love that. And Christ, uh, um, the love of God is just so amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and write this down. I'm going to write my journal down and my prayers real quick and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So I have all my stickers laid down and I have my scripture written. I have my journal prompt here and I think it turned out really cute. It's very whimsical, not like me. Um, it was fun to do and talk about, you know, how you can plan your day and pray, you know, God be with me in these areas. And then also just write stuff down, um, compartmentalize with other little boxes of stickers and stuff like that. But I like using this as a way of just letting God have a conversation with me. And I tend to, um, I'm, I'm more able to focus on a conversation with God if I'm doing something structured like this that has a little fun element to it um, than I am if I'm just sitting there and praying and then like vapor locked going, I can't think of anything to pray about, or I can't think, um, I like this way of having the verse speak to me, the journal prompt guiding me, um, and, and then finding stickers just to lay down and share with you guys. I just, I really had fun with this one. I think because, you know, I was sick and now I feel better and I got to do it. And I, that first, you know, video after getting sick, <laughs> especially something that's scary as COVID, um, can be, um, being a diabetic and asthmatic and all the other health issues. I wasn't sure how it was going to impact me, but thankfully I was vaccinated and boosted and all that stuff. So, um, the, uh, the recipe worked and I'm good and I'm glad. Um, it was only three days of really, um, down and out. And then I could start helping my family again and then, you know, continue to recover. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long because um, it is a little different than what I normally do. Um, I'll be writing my reflections, maybe a three-point reflection right here. That's what I kind of came up with, a reflection to come back to, and then maybe write three things that I can come up with on um, uh, Lord Direct My Heart today and see if I can reflect back and find, and not just today, but I'm saying um, today and this week. Uh, so I can look back on the week 
for this and have three different areas to write about there. That would be a great thing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.